Let's go down this way. It's an angle. There's Lake Bivol's Hook. It's massive. It is so full. No more little jacuzzi section in the dam. That little segregation is, is now gone. But you can see in the very far corner, there are two hippopotami. There they are. I don't know if it's the same two that we've been seeing every now and then. No, these ones look quite large and they don't seem to be as skittish. Remember we had that mom and calf that was here and the, the juvenile just wasn't having any of it and, and, and didn't really stab for more than about three seconds before it went under. This, however, looks like a much larger hippopotamus than the ones we've been seeing. Look at, look at it opening its nostrils, isn't that cool? Yes, yeah. This is definitely not the same, the same pair that we've seen. They're way too relaxed, which is wonderful. So they've got a new home. They've got Lake Bivol's Hook all to themselves. I'm trying to find where's Mr. and Mrs. Blacksmith Lapwing and Mr. and Mrs. Egyptian Goose. They like to live around here too, but they don't seem to be around so much. And you're wondering if the hippos would stay in the water during such heavy rains. I wouldn't imagine that it, w it would be a bad spot to go. I reckon if it's torrential downpour, it's a actually a good spot because they can hold their breath for, for quite some time, for up to about six minutes or so. And maybe they'll go underneath a tree. So you, often you'll see overhanging trees on the sides of the dams, on the banks of the rivers. And, ah, look at that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Let me, I'm going to go and quickly pick something up. I'll just, thank you, Louise, for spotting that for me. Hmm. We shall make a musical instrument out of this. I shall tell you about this can in just a moment. Sorry, hippopotamus, if I gave you a fright. Now, as you can see, and we have picked up a can, but what happens is when you get a lot of rain like we've had, is often hyenas will come through camps and rip up rubbish, rubbish bags, which they shouldn't be doing anyway, but they, that's one of their favorite things to do. Or also, what could have happened is the can could have easily been washed down, maybe it was lurking in the bush and it's been brought out. So that's also another, not a bad thing about rain, is that if there is any uh, things lying around, it could have fallen out of a vehicle, I mean it could have been a complete mistake, uh, somebody may have dropped it accidentally, or on purpose, I, I doubt anyone would do anything like that, on purpose, and well when you get rain everything moves around and it brings it out of the bushes, which gives us an opportunity to do a little bit of a clean up. So that is definitely one thing 